What's up, everyone? Welcome to Fix My Facebook group, episode number four. If you're here with us on Facebook, drop a hashtag live down below or a hashtag replay if you're watching the replay. And if you're with us on YouTube, we're uploading all of these to YouTube now. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube and go to type in Andrew Cruzy if you haven't found us yet on YouTube. Um, and what's up? We're going to do another episode of uh, Fix My Facebook group where I go into people's Facebook groups, show them how to grow it faster and how to monetize it better uh, through little tips, tricks, tweaks, and what we've done uh, to optimize our Facebook group and our clients' Facebook groups. And uh, if you guys don't know, uh, I am the owner of Tribe of Buyers. What's up, Jordan Parker? Uh, I'm owner of Tribe of Buyers, um, and we've done um, over a million dollars in this past year through our Facebook group, um, and we teach other people how to do the same. So we're gonna jump right into it and I'm gonna flip my screen around. If you guys want me to fix your Facebook group, if you're on the live, drop the link down below. Um, give me some hearts, give me some likes, give me some love. That would be awesome. And I'm gonna take my stupid face out of here and we will just jump right into it. Um, what's up? Uh, all right, I can't see who that is, but let me see if I scroll down on this side. And happy Sunday, everyone. It's uh, Christmas, said and done. Uh, we have New Year's coming up. James, I will definitely uh, get to your Facebook group on this live. Uh, awesome. Um, Gallon? Gallon? Is that how you pronounce your name? I might be totally fucking you up. I'm really bad with names and really bad with reading. Uh, I like reading, but I'm bad with it. So, uh, Guna. Oh, you're not here. Uh, Michelle, what's up? Uh, what if I'm just building my Facebook group? Send it over um, because starting is the most important part. Try not to fuck up starting. Um, but it's important that you start and fuck up along the way. But if you send me over the link, I'll try to mitigate that as much as possible. All right. We actually have a new uh, Facebook group here um, called The Wealthy Wellness System. Elevate your impact and income. And then the name of the group um, is Employee to Healthpreneur Marketing, the Wealthy Wellness System. Cool. Um, so with the name, I always recommend that the name is the promise of your core program. Meaning that, like, for example, um, ours is Seven Figure Business Scaling Secrets. Our core program is the Seven Figure CEO or Year Long Mastermind program. So we want to attract the people into our Facebook group um, that are most likely to convert into our programs. So whatever the promise of your program, uh, whether that is like healing something um, and putting that in there, if it's losing a certain amount of weight, um, what, what is that core promise of your, or the promise of your core program? That is what you want your Facebook group name to be because you want to attract the people that are going to buy into your programs. Like that's how you survive. That's how you eat, make money. So you want to attract the right people. Um, what I have found also with the name, you do not want to use your own verbiage like healthpreneur. They might be using that in the health space. I don't know. And like, if they are cool, you can go with that. Um, but when I changed my name, I've changed this Facebook group's name five different times. Um, and uh, and it, it still survived. I get that question all the time. Like, can I change my Facebook group name? Yes, you can really change your Facebook group name at any time. It's going to be okay. The less you change your Facebook group name, the better. But when I tried to put our own IP, our own intellectual property in the Facebook group name, we got way less people into our Facebook group. That was a fuck up on my part. Uh, we, we had, uh, uh, you guys might remember this, build uh, your tribe of buyers and then something, something, something. Um, what I found from that, don't put your own IP. You wanna uh, sell people what they want, give people what they need. So sell people what they want in the Facebook group name and then in your group, give them what they need and you can put your own IP in this group, right? So the name is the most important part of your Facebook group. Name, then the banner, um, and then the content. 
Um, so you need to attract people into your Facebook group that are going to buy. Super duper important. Uh, love the welcome video. Um, your partner should have a picture of his face. It's way more welcoming. Um, so if you don't have a picture of your face on your profile picture, it just weirds people out. Um, so make sure that he changes that. That's super important. Um, solid welcome video. Do, do, do. Cool. You're welcoming people to the group, which is perfect. Tagging them. Um, this looks like a share. Okay. Big thing here. I never post from my business page in here unless I'm tagging people and I never share posts. Um, number one, when you post from your business page, reach is going to be killed dramatically. Um, and then when you share a post, uh, it just never works out. I never share a post from my Facebook group and I never share a post into my Facebook group. Don't fucking do it. It will kill, it will kill your engagement. And what we're trying to do here is just rack up a shit ton of engagement. Um, because then your next post is going to get more engagement and then your next post is going to get more engagement. Don't post something that isn't going to get engagement and usually shared posts just like don't. Um, this post was created by our coach. Uh, okay. Copywriting here. Love copywriting. Um, the first two lines are the most important in any post. Like all of you guys listening, I don't know how many people are here right now. 19, awesome. I love all of your faces. Stay for the whole time and I will reward you. Um, the first two lines are super fucking important. Don't waste them. This can go to at the bottom of the post. If this was your first line, you would have gotten way more engagement here. You need to hook the reader. That's in everything. That's writing copy in your funnel, writing copy on your emails. Like you do this little tweak and your engagement and your conversions will go way up. Just focus on hooking the reader in the first two lines. And this actually is, is pretty decent. Eight ways to massively improve your Facebook algorithm. Like that's fine. Um, that should go at the top. This should go at the bottom. Um, copywriting is super fucking important in this game. Um, boo, boo, boo. All right. Uh, when you put yourself out there, boo, boo, boo. All right. Also wouldn't share anything from anybody else. Um, seven gold nuggets via. Okay. I like how you broke this down though. I actually do love how you broke down the seven steps. What I've seen people do um, is like post a book and tell people, yo, buy this book. What would be much more valuable to your audience is you sharing your five to seven takeaways from that book or from this video. Um, so what I would have done is I would have recapped the video and then if somebody asks for it, send them over the video. But when we put links into our posts, it dramatically kills engagement. And that is the number one thing we want to avoid. Anything that will kill engagement and reach, um, uh, then, then it's not worth posting. And like you put good time into this post. Um, we want to make sure when we are, we are putting time into a post that we're getting the maximum engagement possible, right? Um, Boop, boop, boop. Videos just don't get as good engagement. Like if you do these four golden nuggets, um, make sure that you're posting a picture with it. Um, just Facebook does not like, like it likes pictures way more than it likes video, which is kind of counterintuitive. Um, uh, but, and probably from what you've heard, but pictures just always take the cake. If it's pictures of you, even better. Um, I would avoid any pictures like this. I know this is your group picture, but just like uh, as an example, avoid like any of like basic pictures that aren't of people, right? Hey, 23 people, love your faces. We're gonna go to the next one. Jody, thanks for the link. Matthew, thanks for the link. Michelle, you're awesome. I love your face. Uh, PD, I love your face too. And guys, if you get anything out, the, out of this, smash a heart button, smash a like button. It helps the algorithm. It helps us reach more people. Um, and it feeds my family. So that would be freaking amazing. All right. Let's move on. Jen, my homegirl. I'm excited for this one. 
All right, breakthrough to the new you. Um, and the name is Get the Fuck Over Yourself. I'm surprised you're allowed to swear in Facebook group titles. It might hurt your reach. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know the role behind that. That's so funny, Jen. Uh, that's so you, though. And you're attracting the right people. Um, like, you're very polarizing in that sense. That's good. Um, so uh, I actually don't mind the name. I know it's not the promise of your core program, but we're just trying to get people in the door. And um, this is very much your style. So I mean, if you're not seeing any, like, if it's not killing your reach and if it's not killing, like, people organically getting into your Facebook group, I would leave it up. Um, so that looks good. I love what you're doing with the unit section um, with, your, um, uh, with your challenge. So big thing here, though. I'd love for you guys to point out the issue with this post right here. Ah, shit. I kind of just revealed it. <laughs> What's up, Marianne? Good to see your face. Um, so the issue here is that it has a link. And Facebook hates YouTube um, because Facebook likes to be cocky and talk about their, their video views and all of that shit. Um, and they do not like for people to leave the platform. So what I like to do, if you're pushing people to YouTube and your MO here is to get more YouTube subscribers, Marianne, exactly, there's a link. Um, what I like to do is post up a picture of the YouTube video, keep this copy, and then say comment down below uh, if you want access. Um, and then I have a VA go in there and send links to everybody that comments. Um, so I would not like this got great, like good engagement for it, having a link in there and only having 400 people in your Facebook group. It would, it would get like 40, 50, 60 comments. Um, if you just posted a picture, kept this copy, tell pe told people to comment and then got people to your YouTube channel. And what I actually uh, use is a link that auto subscribes them to YouTube. If they just press, press a button. So there's a way to um, change up the YouTube link where the the where they go is like, do you want to subscribe? And then they just have to click a button to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Um, but I love what you're doing here. This is really good. Just keep the links out. That's super important. Do to do, do. Um, other people sharing links. I I don't let other people share links. Like, I don't accept those posts. It's just not valuable. Like, create your own fucking content. <laughs> um, we'll learn how to manage performance. This is great. Like, short, simple, to the point. Um, you could be a little bit more specific on what type of performance to really hit somebody's need and pain point. Um, uh, I would be more specific with the word performance. Um, we don't w we don't want to leave any vagueness. We want to be very specific in our copy. Um, Twenty one day challenges uh, with with um, titles to uh, Facebook Lives. Super important to hook the um, viewer in the title. Um, I see a lot of people just go live without a title, or it's just like a one liner give it a little thought because it will go a long way if you get five, 10, 15 more people on your live just from taking two minutes to write some copy. So what is the benefit to somebody watching this uh, Facebook Live? Um, like put more effort into the titles and you will see a much bigger, um, uh, or you'll, you'll see a lot more people on your Facebook Lives. Um, always talk about the benefit to them. Benefit, benefit, benefit. Do, do, do. Welcome to the news. Love that you're uh, accepting everybody, introducing them. This is this is good. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Welcome video. Awesome. Awesome. Um, boo, 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 boo. Okay, cool. There they are. 
I was going to say, like, I would love to see more of these posts and you're doing it. So that's good. Like for anybody that's watching right now, like these simple posts take the least amount of time and usually get the biggest engagement. Um, and we're just trying to rack up engagement. So when we put up a post with awesome copy and that's leading to something to sell, it's going to reach the maximum amount of people. Um, and this is minimum input and maximum output posts. Um, like really you don't have to do too much, uh, for these posts and they go a long way and they pop out. Um, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, this is great. Like you're getting like for a 500 person Facebook group. Um, this is, this is fantastic, Jen. Um, good stuff. I would, uh, interview more people in your Facebook group. Uh, find the time. It will go a long way. Interviews are crucial. I was doing two interviews a week when I started my Facebook group. And that was one of the biggest things that grew it. Um, because the people that I was interviewing were delivering such massive value that people were inviting their friends to the Facebook group saying, dude, you need to watch this interview. Oh my God. So, so good. Um, do more interviews. And this bad boy will grow a lot quicker. Um, also, if you have an offer, I would love to see an offer in here too. Um, like not a hard offer, um, but just like, so I can, so I know that you have something that I can buy from you. Um, so a soft offer, like a mission post or, um, uh, or, a uh, comment for value to a sales post, um, that will work really, really well. I just wanna know that I can buy from you, Jen. Oh, uh, do, 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 okay, I didn't get accepted into that one. All right, sis, what's up, homegirl? You have a killer fucking Facebook group. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, the thing that stands out to me initially is that you don't have a unit section. So sis, I think right off the bat, I would open up a unit section, just change your, uh, uh, change your settings to social learning. Um, and then I've seen that you have like a lot of wins and a lot of uh, interviews, which is awesome. I would just put it in the unit section under wins. And then, um, and then people go in there and watch one after another after another, kind of like um, YouTube. Um, and it works really, really well. We've got a win section. It's kind of small um, in our free group here. You can check that out. Anybody that's on here now can check that out. Um, and then uh, buh, 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 buh. Uh, and then we have some of our interviews in there as well. Um, this looks great, great, great. Um, women in real estate dominating. Okay. Boo, boo, boo. To do. Yeah, you're getting great engagement. Like, honestly, this is a million dollar uh, Facebook group. If you just have your offer set up the right way, you have enough engagement to just crush. Um, yeah. Yeah. If, if you had the maximization model rocking, um, like you would be at a million dollars in no time here. Um, the engagement is great. I mean, you're, you're at um, 14,000 people in your Facebook group. You've got the numbers, you've got the credibility. Um, I don't see any monetizing going on. I don't see any launch posts. I don't see any sales posts. I don't see any like, Hey, I bought your course or Hey, I bought this from you. Yeah. I mean, you would get a lot more sales if you just do that. Um, but the, uh, Everything else looks good. Good job, sis. All right, didn't get into that one yet, Liz. Let me see. I wanted to see your Facebook group. Oh, am I in? Does this mean I'm in or am I still waiting? I'm still waiting. Calls pending. All right, Josh, let's get into it, dude. All right, we're going for uh, the Facebook group name, SMA, Consultants, Coaches, Cold Messaging, and Sales, the Sales King. Solid name. Yeah, solid name. Uh, you're going after your uh, ideal clients, people that you work with. It's very uh, uh, specific on what they're going to be taught, um, cold messaging and sales. 
Um, that's solid fucking name, dude. Also, um, Banner looks good. Love seeing your face in there. Adds a lot of credibility to have your face in the banner. So with anybody watching, if you create a banner, make sure that your face is not is, is in it. Um, it goes a long way in terms of sales and people actually knowing who the fuck runs the Facebook group. Um, helping entrepreneurs to stay wealthy, filled with passion, full of confidence, and without fear. Dude, yeah, I can tell you're a copywriter. Um, that's awesome. And you're actually going for people who are already wealthy, um, which is great. Um, you're not saying, hey, I can take you from broke to woke in two seconds. Um, so that's good. Um, do, 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 I watched your intro video. I would love for you to invest in a background, man. Um, uh, yeah, it just like branding goes a long way and you'll have a lot more credibility um, if you have a halfway decent background and it's not in your parents' basement. Um, but I get it. I was in my parents' basement when I started this Facebook group. But I wish somebody told me to put a fucking background up. That would have went a long way. Um, do, do, do. Um, what I don't see here too um, are interviews. Love to see interviews. Love to see more videos, more lives. Um, also here, when you're doing testimonial posts or like results posts, make sure that you're talking about the person who actually produced the result. People want to see that. Um, people want to see that, like, you care about your clients and you're mentioning them that they put in the fucking work um, to to make it happen. Um, do do do. Mm -mm -mm. My mission is to keep every entrepreneur wealthy, full of passion. Awesome. Um, cool. And like, again, I'm. Tell me about James. Tell me about your experience with James. Um, that will go a long, long way when people are like, oh shit, you know about your clients. Like you actually talk to them. Um, and I know you do. Uh, boo, boo, boo. <laughs> We've seen fuck come up so many times on this Facebook live. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Um, yeah, dude, just like more interviews. More interviews, more trainings, it will go a long, long way. And like, you have a course. Oh, that's funny, one person dropped out. Um, <laughs> but you have a course, dude. Like, if you just provided one training and one interview per week, people would be filled with fucking value and there would be so much equity built up in your group that people would have no option to buy your 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 course. like. Why do you think I do my, fix fix my Facebook groups? Like it's it's just reciprocity. Like I'm giving you guys a lot, and like I have a lot more shit in my uh, in my programs, and people want to see behind that door, and they see the results that everybody's getting inside of the group growth and monetization blueprint, authority accelerator, and seven figure CEO, and people want to see what's behind that door if you're building up a lot of equity with people inside of your group. So I would do more interviews and more trainings. Dude. Um, goes a long, long way. Um, but looks good, looks good. Also is looking at your personal profile. Awesome. Now I'm gonna go over here. Hey guys, what's up? Um, if you have any questions, drop them down below. I'm going to jump on the links that you guys sent me. Please tell me that you guys have added me to your groups. If you sent over a link but haven't added me yet, do it ASAP. All right. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. All right, David. Let's go to you, man. Uh, Mm -hmm. And let's see, can you see that? Yeah, you guys can see it. Wait, is it mainly my stupid face? It is, so let me do that, let me do that, let me do that. All right, David, your turn. All right, the purpose-driven dads, the purpose-driven dads, 
hacks and success secrets to build your legacy. So the copywriting can be a little bit more specific. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going into. Am I building more wealth? Am I enhancing my relationships with my loved ones? Am I um, becoming healthier? Um, like, what what does it mean, hacks and success secrets to build your legacy? Like, yes, I want a legacy, but I want to know more about like what I'm getting into. Like the purpose driven dads, it's a good name, but I also want to know like what am I going to learn inside of this Facebook group from you? So being more specific in your copy is super important. Another thing that I see is that I'm driven straight to the unit section. When I click on your group, you need to change that and uh, send them to discussion. So if you go into edit settings, you can change it from the first page being discussion or uh, first page being units to the first page being discussion. You just need to go to edit settings, which is going to be up here on your end. Um, boop, boop, boop. So let's get into your group. Uh, hi, purpose driven dads. Uh, have you seen the unit section? <laughs> oh, that's funny. We're just talking about that. All trainings live there for you. Again, like I don't know what what's the benefit to me to go through these trainings? Like if you make this shift in your copy right now, David, like you will get a lot more conversions and a lot more engagement when you focus on the benefit to your audience and being more specific. Um, so training's cool, but like, what am I going to get out of the trainings? You're not selling the trainings, you're selling the benefit of the training. So what is the benefit of the trainings? Right. Um, do to do, do, what is the best piece of advice you got as a dad? That's uh, okay. That's a good engagement question. I wouldn't post these so close together um, because they're going to be battling for engagement and like it's just going to take both of these down. I would, if like you have a good idea of a for a post, just save it into your notes and then you can post it later. Um, but don't post one after another. Like this is actually a really good engagement post um, if you're trying to rack up engagement. Um, six week accelerator program is a, oh my God, dude, 14 minutes ago. That's three, three in the past 20 minutes. All right. We got to chill on the, it, more is not necessarily better. Um, like think about the quality of your posts and why you're posting. Um, and we just want to rack up engagement. Um, so do to do. do Goal setting strategies for dads 2020. Got decent engagement. Awesome doing a training. I love it. Um, I would add more copy here to add some open loops. Emo I, I know emojis are stupid, but they capture people's attention. Um, uh, are we still do to do? I think we're good. I don't know why my computer is lacking. Yeah, we're good. Um, do, do, do. Um, guys, if you need motivation to get moving, check this out. Um, again, I wouldn't share any posts. Like some of them get decent engagement, but it's not from you. Like I want to see the motivation come from you, not from not from a share. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, if it's about to start, I would like every post for a reason, try to get engagement here. Um, like if you missed it and want the replay, hashtag replay down below. Um, going live in 25 minutes. Just too many posts back to back to back. I wanna see more posting with a purpose. And David, I would limit your posting in your Facebook group to two a day, and I would make it more purposeful. Um, mm -mm. Cool. So this might be a testimonial. I usually tell my clients to add something in the subject line 
or uh, in the copy if they're leaving a testimonial. Do, do, do. Yeah, I would also love to see more interviews um, with other dads. Like you could just like have a dad jam out family session, whatever. Um, that would go a long, long way and get people like get people super hyped about your Facebook group. Um, just interview dads and their experiences, especially the ones that you have uh, you've uh, worked with in the past <clears throat> or currently working with. Like this is great. Good story posts. I would share more. Yeah, dude, actually this is good. So family is there. Dude, share share more stuff with your family. Um, like, have a kid on your lap when you're doing a Facebook Live. Like, that's a purpose-driven dad, being able to balance things. Um, I see a lot with you, but I would love to see more with your family as well. Um, yeah, man. I need to see more from, from your family. And then I think that, that would kill it, man. Um, do, do, do. You can actually schedule posts inside the groups. Would you recommend that or not? Uh, we've, we've tried it out um, with Agora Pulse. That was the system that we were using. And um, it might have hurt engagement a little bit. But if you're looking like initially, I would not start with just like um, scheduling posts. If you schedule them natively, like that's fine. Like if you schedule them through Facebook, like that's fine. Um, but if you're using a third party, um, I really feel like it kills kills engagement. Um, but if you're automating your Facebook group and you've been doing it for a year and just need to automate it, like then you can use a, a posting <clears throat> system. Okay, um, so I lost the comments here. Uh, guys, if you're enjoying this, give me a wow face, give me a heart, give me a like. The engagement really helps and uh, reaches more people and I'll love your face more. Um, let me see if I can get back to... Doo -doo -doo the comments you see nope won't let me do that that's weird let me show you what i'm talking about seven figure if you guys have questions actually what questions do you guys have you should frame it that way um let me know you've got me here for how long have i been on got me here for another <coughs> 10 minutes or so so drop those sexy questions down below. Uh, James, I said I was going to do your Facebook group. Um, drop those questions and I will get them answered. Uh, so let's get into James. Uh, entrepreneurs and busy professionals, fat loss, motivation, um, support community. Um, cool. Um, I dropped the support community part. Um, support's great, but I would rather be more straightforward. Or, or I wouldn't say like this is for me to sell you, obviously. But um, when you frame it as a support community, people get way more weirded out when you try to start selling things inside of your Facebook group. So if your intention um, is to sell things and make a living and build a business, um, I would take out the, uh, the support community. Um, then like, the banner is great seeing these transformations. Like I think every fit pro should do this. Um, that's great. Discover the five pillars to uh, building your dream physique. Um, cool. Um, click here. And I would fix this banner. It just doesn't look professional when it's framed this way. Um, and it just detracts from you attracting higher ticket clients. Um, James, awesome. Cool, welcome video, great. Um, wins, I love that you're sharing wins. Uh, uh, All right, 2020, what are your goals? Cool, solid. 
Yeah, the the Facebook groups I see getting the okay. Yeah, the ones I see getting the least engagement have the least amount of um, interviews and trainings. However, I am seeing a lot of interviews and trainings now, so that's solid. Um, boo -boo. Solid, solid, solid. Cool evening, gents. Again, copy is super important. Like, guys, if you're not getting engagement, odds are it's just shit copy. Um, so make sure that your first two lines are hooking the reader. Super important. Um, like write them out and usually like a question works great. A benefit works great like this or an open loop. Like just get something to hook the reader. Boo -boo. <sighs> Cool, prepping for the live. Who's this Andrew Cook guy? Um, okay, I like the interviews, that's solid. Uh, two, 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 two. I think you could definitely make this feel more of yeah, like, good evening, gents. No, stop. Uh, tell me this. N no. Uh, like, James, if you just enhance your copy and get better at hooks, like, dude, you'll get way more engagement. Like, this is probably super imp informative, but you lost me here. Like, I, I'm scrolling through a news feed. Why do I want to read your posts? Like, this isn't, like, I'm, I'm not personally, like, trying to offend you. But it's super important to get this, that your first two lines, you need to hook the fucking reader. It's the same thing over and over and over again, like in your emails, um, in, in in anything that you do in marketing, hook. <laughs> Talk about benefits, ask questions, open pains. And you got people that commented there and you haven't reacted to them. And I think this is some type of, yeah, this is some type of sales post, dude. You have people waiting in the balance. We, we, just get so caught up in our shit that there's so many people that want to fucking pay us money. And then we forget about them. Like stop getting caught up in your shit. And if you need money, like go to your lowest hanging fruit, go back to these posts and talk to these people. Um, all right. So we got some questions here. Um, Marianne, what's an open loop? Um, my best definition for it is uh, something that um, gets people to think um, and do to do, do. Could probably what's probably better is an example. So let me find an example for you. Boop, boom. I'll go to my personal page. Um, so open loops can be various different things. Um, for example, I've left a lot of open loops in this post right here. Uh, let like this is a good hook. Let me let you in on a little a little secret. Like, dude, like tell me what's the secret? Like a secret can be an open loop. Like because I'm telling you that there's going to be a secret and people don't know about it. Another open loop um, that I do here is using IP. So like the Facebook group content engine. This is my own uh, uh, intellectual property. And then uh, what else? Um, I have another IP in here, uh, group engine optimization. And like people are like, what is that? What is that? Like that's an open loop. When you got people asking like, what is that? Um, so leave open loops, like talking more about the what and why and not the how, right? Um, what, why, not how. Like that's probably the best way to um, explain what an open loop is. Um, can we post our own videos in the group or should they always be Facebook lives? Um, you can, you're going to get more engagement if it's a Facebook live, um, and you're going to get more people viewing it. Um, but, uh, but yes, you can post videos. I've got some videos in there. Um, uh, if you're looking for engagement, uh, I would, I would always post a picture if you're just looking looking for mass engagement and trying to reach the maximum amount of people. 
Let me pop back up here. There, I'll bring my stupid face on screen again. And go back down. Uh, Michael's saying, I'm going to give you X, but before I get to that, yeah, solid open loop. Um, can we post our, okay, got to that one. Have you used StreamYard for interviews? I've been using it, but wonder how it compares to BeLive. Um, I like BeLive just because I've been using it, um, but it's really just pick one and stick to it. Um, people used to talk so much shit about BeLive, but they actually changed a lot on the back end, and I really like it. Ugh, I can't talk. Uh, cool. More family vibes. Less posting. More interviews. Awesome. Good notes. Um, you can actually schedule. Okay, we already talked about that question. Dope. Guys, I hope you got a lot out of this. Uh, thank you for uh, being um, a part of episode number four. Uh, if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. If you hit that heart, hit that like, leave a comment. And I appreciate you guys and hope this was helpful. And I'll see you guys next.